welcome back to Verse. Canada's rowing team is on top of the world, and one of its rising stars is Kai Langerfeld. And it happened so quickly. Kai started rowing in 2009, and by 2010, he won double gold at the Canada Intra University Championships. Since then, he has literally been off to the races. Kai, thank you so much for being on Verse. So a couple of years ago, you decided to change your life completely. Can you tell us on how you came to be on the national team rowing for Canada? I wasn't really happy with my you know, current situation at the time. So I wanted to get back into team sports. And um, because of my dad, he used to row. That kind of gave me the idea to, to try it. You won double gold at the Pan American Games. Mm. And now you're on your way to the Olympics. What did you have to do to qualify for the Olympic teams? Did you have to compete in a certain competition? Every year before the Olympics, there is an Olympic qualifier regatta. Um, and this year it was in France. And for our certain boat class, which is a four, there was only 11 spots available. Um, and we came fourth place, so that qualified us for next year. So you brought in two gold medals, right? Yeah. Could I see them? Yeah, absolutely. Are they both from the same regatta? Regatta. Yeah, they're both from the same regatta. So this one we won in the men's four, and the one you're holding we won in the men's eight. They're really heavy. You're really tall. Yeah. Exactly how tall are you? I'm six foot five. Okay, if your whole team is really tall, how tall is the shortest person on your team? Uh, the shortest person is about six foot two, so he's pretty tall as well. That's still really tall. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have to be tall to be a rower? Uh, to be a heavyweight men's rower, you do have to be pretty tall, but there are also lightweight rowers out there, um, and they don't have to be as tall. They can be anywhere between, you know, five foot four to six feet two. Could you tell us about a typical day of training? So basically, we wake up around six o'clock in the morning. Um, I have what we call our pre-breakfast, so that's about our first meal of the day, um, and then we'll have. One row about 7.30, which will probably last an hour and a half to two hours. And then we have second breakfast, which is usually the bigger breakfast. And then we'll probably do um, some dry land training or some weights. And then in the afternoon, we'll do uh, what we call the erg machines, so the rowing machines. Okay. And we'll do about an hour to two hours on those. Um, and then we go home and then just eat as much as possible. What can you tell teens about how to be successful with their passion? My advice to teens would be, um, I mean, anything worth doing takes a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifices. Um, you know, usually people see this line to success as just one straight line, but usually it's a lot of ups and a lot of downs. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of hard days, a lot of, a lot of stress, a lot of highs, a lot of lows, um, but it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of perseverance, um, some sacrifices, but I think ultimately if you love what you're doing, you don't really call it a sacrifice because you're working towards something you really enjoy. So, How do you fit in all the other things in life, like friends, family, and a job? Uh, well, this is my full-time job, so this is all we do. Um, in terms of friends and family, most of my friends are the guys on my team. Um, and I actually also consider them kind of a family as well. So uh, we spend so much time together that you, know, you don't really have too much time to do, to do much other stuff which is fine because I think we all love what we're doing. What do you find is the hardest part of being an Olympic rower? The physical part or the mental part? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I definitely have to say the mental part. Um, I think for athletes, we all like working hard and you know, kind of reaching those points that most people can't get to, but uh, there's definitely like a mental aspect of it. You have, to, you have to be prepared to work harder than you ever have in your life. Sometimes the fear of the pain gets in the way of your abilities. So what's your next goal? Yeah, my next goal, um, basically to stay healthy for the entire winter, stay healthy for the year, um, work as hard as I can every single day and earn my spot back for the boat and ultimately win a gold medal this summer at the Olympics. That's really cool. Well, the boats look really tippy, but you offered to show me some basics. So yeah. shall we go and do it? Yeah, let's do it. How are you feeling? I'm kind of nervous, but... Yeah. So the big thing for you, just make sure that your hands are together. Okay. And your, both of your oars are just on the uh, water, just like that. 
and we'll be fine. You ready to go? Yeah. Cool. So you square it, and then it, put it in the water, and then you pull. Blades come out, feather off the water, square, pull. Awesome. Then we can like start moving up the slide, just like how I'm doing right now. See how you can like actually move up like this? Yeah. So that's the stroke. You finish here, and then your hands come out, and then you basically just move up to the front with your blades off the water, and your blades will square, and they go in the water, and then you push. These are basically full strokes right here. This is what this is what we do every single day. Okay. Just back and forth. <laughs> Wait. Okay. When when do I go forward like with my legs? So when, when you're back here, a little tippy, eh? Yeah. So you lead with your left, and then you just move your whole body up together. Oh, okay. Um, like that? Yeah. And then lead with your left hand, and move your whole body up. Yeah. Perfect. And usually, we train in a boat with one or two people, like this. Yeah. But sometimes we can race with up to eight guys in one boat. Is that, that, eight guys, and that goes really fast. Yeah. Is eight the most people that yeah. you're gonna have? Is it better than you thought it'd be? Yes, a lot cool. better. Nice job. We're flying right now. And with rowing, you always want to make sure you sit up nice and tall. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Kai, thank you so much for sharing your amazing story. You're welcome. Kai Lingerfeld decided to change his life and follow his passion. He's worked hard every day and is enjoying every minute. So just remember, there's a whole universe of opportunities out there, and you can reach your goals too. Thank you so much for watching Verse.